you ever had a hollow feeling in your heart about the futility of life? Have you ever asked yourself, why am I here? Who brought me here? Could life be better? What happens when I die? Get answers to these questions in the latest book by Kakra Baden titled, The Invitation. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order the Invitation at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is a senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra is still sharing on the subject, the presence of God, and the main theme, the blood of Jesus. Yesterday, he explained that the blood of Jesus makes us holy so we can be close to God and have his presence. Today, he gives more insight. Let's join him for more. Now, when the blood is shed, it brings us to the step, third step, the presence of God. Now, you are with Christ. The opposite of without is with, which means you arrive in the presence of God. One good thing about being in the presence of God is that you have access to the influence and the power of God. When you are in the presence of powerful people, they can help you. Jesus, he carried the presence of God. Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. Amen. The presence of God. When you pray, Lord, wash me with your blood. In the realm of the spirit, you become holy. And immediately, the presence of God comes around you. Whether you feel it or not, it's not based on your feeling. It's based on the principles of the word of God. And the scripture cannot be broken. When you sit in the car, you say, Lord, I wash myself with the blood of Jesus. Immediately, the presence of God will come around you. You know why sometimes people pray nothing happens? <laughs> they, they don't know the implication of the prayer. They are praying, but they don't understand what they are doing. Because it's understanding that gives you faith. First Chronicles 11, 9, it says, David was greater and greater for the Lord of hosts was with him. We are made near by the blood. Second Chronicles 1, 1, it says, Solomon, the son of David, was strengthened in his kingdom, and the Lord was with him and magnified him exceedingly. The Lord was with him. Last week, I went to a town to go and preach. We had a morning session, evening session. During the morning session, 60 people showed up in the town. Afternoon, I went to my room. I prayed. I said, Lord, I call upon your blood. Let your presence come into this town. Three or four hours later, I went back to that same place. Over 1,000 people were waiting for me. <laughs> the presence of God. Joseph was like that. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2. The Lord! was with Joseph. He was a prosperous man. After this sermon, may the presence of God make you rich. Yes. After this sermon, may you not be broke in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bible says we are made nigh by the blood. See, many things can bring the presence of God down. Prayer can bring it, but the blood also brings it. You are a trader. 
as you open your shop in the morning. You say, Lord, I call upon the blood of Jesus that the angels are selling with you. Can I hear your amen? This coming week, every trader, may angels do business with you. May the presence of God do business with you. Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that the blood of Jesus can bring down the presence of God. Join us same time next week from Monday to Friday. Have a blessed weekend. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Successfully delivered a baby boy. Dear Kakwa, I wrote you some time ago to pray for me for the fruit of the womb. This was after I had a miscarriage. You replied that you had prayed for me. I conceived in July last year, and on the 27th of March this year, our baby boy arrived successfully. Glory be to God. Through your time, you can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.